I don't know about you, but when it comes to any new feature that makes my design process easier or more convenient, I'm all ears. That's why when I saw that Canva really upped their video game when it comes to editing directly on their app, I knew I had to dive in and share my best tips with you. Today, I'll be showing you how to create an Instagram ready reel all in Canva from combining video clips, trimming and cropping, your transitions, adding any text, graphics, sound, and finally downloading. So the first thing that you're gonna wanna do is hop into the Hotstock library and choose the video category from the menu and download any videos that you wanna use for your reel. So I'm gonna be creating a daily mantra reel of inspiring quotes for my entrepreneurs. So I'll preview the videos by hovering over each thumbnail and then downloading the ones that might have some snippets that fit with my theme. Now that I have my video footage, I can hop into Canva and do all of my editing here, which is super awesome. To access the video editing capabilities, you can select video from the main page. And here they'll have a bunch of different sizes you can choose from like Facebook, mobile, TikTok, and a bunch of other formats. You can also access video canvases by selecting create a design and then typing in your platform. So for example, for my design, I would be typing in Instagram and from here I can select the Instagram Reels video option. This format is also going to work for any of your Insta Story videos or IGTV. The first step in creating your video is combining together clips from the stock videos that you downloaded from the library. Each page here at the bottom is going to represent a different slide or a different clip in your video. So to get started, I'm going to drag and drop the different videos that I want to feature in chronological order. I'm not going to worry about the length of the clips right now, but I will resize each video to fit the canvas as I get my video assets all laid out. And each time I'm putting down a video, I'm going to make sure that I'm also creating a new page for each one of those videos. Now I can go ahead and trim down the length of the different clips, keeping in mind that reels can be 15 to 30 seconds long. So to check the length of your video, you can always look here. And then trimming clips in Canva is super easy. I like to watch the entire video and then once I've decided which clip I wanna feature, because it goes with the overall theme of my reel, then I can either drag in the arrows at the beginning and the end of each video to crop out any of the video that I don't want so that it's just featuring that one little clip. Or if say you want a couple seconds from one part of the beginning of the video and then a couple seconds from the middle or the end of the video, then those arrows aren't going to really work for you. The best option here is to split your clip where you want it to start and where you want it to end. And then again for the second clip that you want to feature and then deleting that middle part or any part of the video that you don't want. And to do that, you can just right click where you wanna split it and select the split option. And then once I've trimmed all my clips and the duration fits within real guidelines, then I can play through the entire video to make sure that everything flows nicely. Next, because I wanna add text, depending on the placement of your video or which clips you've chosen, you may want to add a colored overlay like I am to make your text stand out a bit more. So here's a really great way to play around with different colors that fit with your branding or the vibe of the stock videos. And then of course, just make sure that you're copying and pasting the overlay to all of the pages within your video. Now I can overlay text featuring my different mantras on each of the different videos or any other graphic elements that I might want to add. So now if the video needs to be repositioned because I'm finding that it's distracting to my text, then I can go ahead and adjust the placement or the sizing of any of my clips. 
So now comes the fun part, adding effects to your video to make it look more professional. So at this point, you can add one of the transitions Canva has in between each page by clicking on the plus sign and selecting add transition. From here, you can play around with the different effects and even adjust the length of the transitions if you wanna make them longer or shorter. So essentially transitions add movement when your video is jumping from one page to the next to make it either a little bit more creative or more of a smooth transition. So I'm gonna choose a dissolve for all of my clips to make the cut to each video a little less harsh. Canva also has some fun effects for animating just the text or graphic elements of your video as well. So you can add animation to every element individually or you can group them and animate the group if you want all of the elements to do the same thing or you can pick and choose which elements you want to animate and which ones you don't. So just select your element, click on the animate button and then choose an animation. I'm gonna go ahead and choose pan for the line on all of my slides and then typewriter for all of the mantras. The daily mantra title, I don't want to move at all, so I'm just gonna go ahead and not animate that. You can even add music right in Canva. Instagram does have a library of music that you can choose from, but if you prefer to do it all at once, then browse through Canva's library of music and choose something you like. Drag and drop it onto the bottom panel and then from here you can move the music to where you want it to play in your video and you can also trim or cut out any parts just like you did for the video clips. You can also adjust the volume here which I tend to turn down the music always especially if you also have a clip of you talking at the same time which by the way, you can also add in Canva by uploading it where you upload all your files here and it's gonna appear under this audio tab and then you can go ahead and edit and adjust it as you like. So if that's something that you wanna do, if you wanna bring in your own audio of you talking or your own music or any sound effects, you can also do that as an option. Now all that's left to do is play your video to make sure everything is working the way you want it and adjust any of the elements if need be. And then the last thing to do is download as an MP4 and upload straight to Instagram. If you're inspired by these tips, then you would love a Hotstock membership. Inside our exclusive members only library, you're gonna get access to thousands of stock photos, curated stock videos you can use on social media, time-saving templates that you can customize for your brand, and monthly marketing guides to help you with content creation for your business.